So let's start this tutorial. In previous video, maybe you were bored. So let's have fun. In this video, I will show how to send get request. First thing first, we need some server where we send our requests and get responses. In this course, we will use different APIs. JSON placeholder is one of them. As description says, it is fake online REST API for testing and prototyping. In this course, we will use one more tool, which is called Insomnium. It is HTTP client for desktop computer. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux. This is only for demonstration purposes. If you would like, you can download it too. Now I will show how to make a request in Insomnia. First of all, we click this uh, plus button. New request. Here we write get posts. Here I am selecting get and click create. Now I open JSON placeholder and here I select get posts. Here you can see result and you may have question why you are using Insomnia if you can do the same thing in browser. For sending get request browser should be ok. But when we want to send post request it's easier to send uh, post request in Insomnia. So now I will copy URL and pass it here and I will click send. As a result, you can see a list of posts. Now you have clear idea what we are going to achieve. So we will do the same thing using Retrofit library. First of all, let's create new Android application project. We will call it Retrofit example and do not forget to add a Gradle dependency to build Gradle file. And uh, also don't forget add uh, internet permission to Android manifest.xml file. Now everything is ready, let's start. Now we will create instance of Retrofit. As a base URL, we will set a JSON placeholders URL. In the end, do not forget add slash. Next step is to create Java interface for our API. But this time we will create interface in new file. We'll call it API. Inside this interface, we will create new method which sends get request to get posts. We will use get annotation in order to send get request. We will send get request to this endpoint, so copy it and put it here. This means that Retrofit sends get request to base URL plus uh, slash posts. Now we created method which returns the response body. Let's open main activity and there let's create instance of API. Now let's call get posts method and run it asynchronously using NQ method. Inside on response method, we'll show response in logs. Now everything is ready, let's run this code and see the result. In logcat, you can see the result, it's list of posts. This video is part of Retrofit course, in description below you can find coupon code, using which you can buy this course with discount price.